The siege of Azekah was a battle between Assyria and Judah. It preceded the siege of Lachish, making it the first known clash between the two kingdoms during Sennacherib's campaign in Judah. Chapter 1 Background Several kingdoms in the Levant ceased to pay taxes to the Assyrian king, Sennacherib, as a result, he set out on a campaign to once again subjugate the rebelling kingdoms, among them the Jewish kingdom of Judah led by King Hezekiah. After defeating the rebels of Ekron in Philistia he set out to subjugate Judah, and in his way to Jerusalem he came across Azekah, among the most important Jewish cities. Chapter 2 Battlefield Azekah was a walled settlement situated on a hill, typical of important Jewish cities at the time. Chapter 3 Order of Battle Chapter 3 Section 1 The Assyrian Army the Assyrian army was the most formidable fighting force of its time and was divided mostly into three different categories. Infantry, which included both close combat troops using spears, and archers. There were also hired mercenaries throwing stones. The infantry was highly trained and worked alongside military engineers in order to breach sieges. Cavalry, the Assyrian cavalry was among the finest in the ancient Middle East and included both close combat cavalry with spears and mounted archers which could both use the agility of the horses alongside long-range attacks. Chariots, which were better equipped for open land engagements than sieges. Chapter 3 Section 2 The Jewish Army The Jewish military force was dwarfed compared to the large, professional Assyrian army. Jewish forces mostly included local militias and mercenaries. There were barely any cavalrymen, and chariots in the Jewish army, which mostly included infantry, either for close combat or long-range combat, they were also significantly less organized than the Assyrians. Chapter 4, The Battle The battle is depicted in the Azica inscription, in which Sennacherib mentions some details about the battle. He mentions that he used battering rams to bring down the walls which was followed by close quarters combat between the opposing side's infantry. Afterwards, Sennacherib ordered his cavalry to charge into the city, leading many of the defenders to rout. Sennacherib then looted and razed the city. Chapter 5, Aftermath After the destruction and looting of Azica, Sennacherib led his army further into Judah, which he once again commanded during the siege of Lachish. Chapter 6, Ancient Sources Azica Inscription 